Coach, the first question I have is, what made the Incarnate Word job the one for you? Every, every coach talks about there's something about the program, the campus, the support staff that drew them in. What was it for Incarnate Word for you? You know, I think for me, I'm a Texas guy, you know, the ability to come back to Texas and raise my family here in the great city of San Antonio, seventh largest in, in uh, the U.S., and, and San Antonio is the most visited uh, city in Texas. So uh, I think it's a, a sleeping giant, you know, we, we have something to offer that, you know, most other FCS programs don't have. Um, when you look at, at that aspect and then you look at the team and, and what they've, you know, done and, and the job that, that Coach Morris did the last couple of years and, and what was coming back, and it was just... Uh, uh, you know the right fit for me and, and my family and, and, and I, you know feel like I made the right decision I you know had a lot of fun we got a, a lot of great guys and San Antonio has been awesome and for you coming in as a first year head coach what's been the biggest challenge for you over these past few months taking over the conference champion the defending conference championship program yeah, I think uh, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I felt like I've hired a, a lot of really great coaches. And, and uh, like I said, with the, we got a veteran team and, and core uh, back, so that always helps. And we're able to hold on to those guys. You know, that's, that's a big part of it. You look around you know, the country right now, you got guys hopping in the portal left and right. And, and we didn't have that happen. And, um, so I think it's a testament to our coaches and, and, our, and our players and the culture we have here at UIW. How, what is the message in the locker room? Everyone talks about it's different when you're chasing that championship, but once you're the hunted and have that championship, it's a little bit different. So what's your message to the players and the team throughout spring practices in the summer? You know, it's just been our, our discipline. That's been the biggest thing, and, and then coming together as a team. We have we have new faces. We have a, a core group of guys that, that, that were here previously, but we added high school guys. We had transfers, JUCO kids. So um, really just coming together as a team and meshing and, and uh, developing that mental and physical toughness. And last question here, what makes this team special? You've got to see them go through spring practices. Now summer workouts getting into fall camp. What what makes this year's Incarnate Word team different from the ones in, in the previous years? Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, offensively, I'll say that, you know, the O-line, I think, will be the strength of our team. Uh, we have a really, really good offensive time? line. And, and people, you see, you see the Taylor Grimes stats and Darian Chafin and C.J. Hardy. So we had a Brandon Porter in the offseason, another All-American. Um, you know, so we got a lot of talent um, at the receiver position. You got Marcus Cooper back at the running back position. and So we have a lot of talent there, but you really look at the offensive line and what we have coming back. I'm really excited about those guys and adding a different dimension. I mean, we're going to have the ability to run the ball. I think you have to run the ball to win a championship. And then, then on defense, um, you know, we have a lot of talent in the, in the back end with Caleb Culp and Elliot Davidson, those guys. And, and uh, you know, a linebacker obviously got Kelechi and, and uh, Isaiah Paul and, and uh, two veteran guys guys at the linebacker position, but I think the D-line this year, um, I really think will be the strength of our defense as well. So anytime you in the trenches, um, you know, you can win in the trenches, you get opportunity. So I think our, our staff did a really good job. Obviously, you got Cam Preston that was, you know, first team all-conference last year coming back, and then a guy like Royce Wellington, that's, that's another guy that, that's played a lot of ball and uh, had a tremendous offseason. But, you know, some of the guys we added in, in the portal and in JUCO, I think is really the depth we have there and the size we have there. And, uh, you know, with me being with the Eagles and Howie Roseman, the GM, that's you know that's how they, they built that Super Bowl. So when I got this job, that's that's really what I want to focus on is the O line and D line. And I'm really pleased what we did as a coaching staff at the D line position. Well, Coach, I appreciate you giving me some of your time as you guys look to go back to back in the Southland Conference. For guys, stay tuned for more Southland Media Day coverage right here on the Blue Bloods.